So why do we need to reverse it? Because it may it may contain hidden treasures, hidden treasures like passwords, uh, uh, encryption algorithms, keys. So you may find hard coded credentials there. You may find hard coded keys. So as opposed to earlier when we are saying that we, we could obtain these from the uh, from the device storage, this time we are seeing it in hard coded data. And like Nokia's R files and Android APK files are quite easy to reverse. Let us see another demo which is for reverse engineering the Android package. And yes, so so when I was explaining Android architecture, I was telling that these Java files are compiled into .dex files which run inside a Dalvik virtual machine, and then those .dex files are converted into APK package, which is which is Android package. So here we are doing the reverse process. We need to obtain the raw code from APK package, Android package. What we need to follow two step process for this. You need to convert APK files to .dex files, and then .dex files to uh, Java files. Let us see a demo of how to do this. I have an Android package uh, which is dot, dot .apk file. So I have to convert it to dex file first and then to java file. For, for the conversion let me rename it to rar which would be which would make it in extractable format. So I make it RAR and then I can extract it. So here is the extracted file. And and I saw a dot dex file present here. So APK converted to dex and then we convert dex to jar or Java files. So let me convert this dex file using another tool which is Dex to jar converter. Go to that path. Dex to jar, and then and then the dex file classes dot dex. So what this dex to jar does is it converts uh, these dex files, Dalvik uh, executables into jar file. So we see some uh, dex to jar file classes dot dex is converted to classes underscore dex to jar dot jar. So since now it is in jar format, I can easily convert it to uh, Java files by using a tool like JDGUI. I give it a, the path dex2jar dot jar file. So this jar file is now reversed and so these are the packages or, or these are the core Java files present. Uh, these are the raw Java files which are present inside the uh, inside the Android package which we try to revert. So if you see the login, if you see the login Java file code. So the last piece of code, last piece of code is going to give you, uh, is, is telling you that your credentials would be saved in your mobile. So this save credential function, username, password, these are these are going to be uh, saved in your in your mobile. And then and then basically you can obtain this saved credential using uh, this uh, reading reading the data present in hand set memory. Right. Other, other data, other uh, things of our interest could be again if we, if we find hard coded credentials there instead of credential being stored there if it is hard coded or again uh, if key is present there. So the fourth aspect of pen testing mobile apps is platform specific issues. So since we are talking about mobile 
uh, application pen testing, there would be certain issues which would be applicable to one platform and would not be applicable to another platform. So let us touch upon uh, two of the uh, two of the uh, platform specific issues in both these platforms. So Android platform has uh, malware issues. Malware are continuously targeting Android. If, if someone analyzes it more malware, what it does is it captures or it, it uh, runs a background listener which would listen to the incoming SMS and then it would obtain that SMS, it would URL encode it and then it would send this URL encoded data in the form of HTTP request to the hacker's web server. So, and, and this SMS, Zitmo was, Zitmo was basically created to uh, obtain the second factor of two-factor authentication. So, so this SMS contained a two-factor authentication token and then since the SMS is now with uh, attacker, he may and, and if by some other way he obtains first factor of the two-factor authentication, then he may bypass your account. Yes, another issue with uh, Google Android is, is, is the market. Uh, we, we don't have the proper clarity on what is the vetting process by Google. Uh, people trust Apple. Uh, Apple App Store compared to uh, more compared to this Google Android market because we, we have seen many incidences or many cases where applications present in Google uh, Android market were used to distribute uh, malware or these applications would uh, were correct uh, at the first place itself. So so probably obviously there is a doubt uh, about the vetting process done by Google. Yes. Uh, yes, we have definitely seen Google removing these infected apps from market, but but yes, that's a fact that uh, these infected apps were present there. With respect to iOS, uh, it uses URL schemes, and these these URL schemes, uh, if again not implemented properly, would uh, send send parameters in. In secure manner, these these may send your login credentials or your data, uh, specifying in, in into the URL scheme, and then this would be directly visible to users. So again, leaking out the information or allowing login to something. Yes, iOS has another is uh, issue, which is iOS screenshot caching issue. By default, iOS operating system uh, takes uh, takes the screen capture and saves it in. In its, uh, in its operating system path, some file path, and then when user used to navigate these uh, iOS apps, and then when, when user clicks on something, these, these saved screenshot image would just pop up and before, before the data being loaded. So what, uh, what this is implemented for is to, to make user interaction quite faster in iOS apps. So user just clicks and before, before the data from the background being pulled up, is a snapshot of the same is shown. But since since this data is being, uh, since these snapshots are being captured by iOS platform, there would be pages where you enter sensitive details. So there would be a page where you have entered your account number. There would be a page where you have entered your password. There, there would be a page where you have entered credit card number. If, if that is snapshot is taken with your uh, with your credit card number and someone someone is able to reach that directory in your mobile uh, yes that may be a source of information leakage and there is a solution to it uh, there is a code snippet which blackens out the view so a snapshot would still be captured but but the uh, but your sensitive details are blackened out so yes i touched upon the four four aspects of mobile pen testing in terms of both the devices. So let me tell some of the security best practices to follow. Do not hard code any sensitive information. It can be obtained from code. Do not store sensitive information locally. Someone can navigate to that directory and can read uh, can read that stored data. If, if uh, data is required to be stored, do not <coughs> Store it as at, at easily readable location like memory card. Probably store it at, at, as the application application uh, directory. And yes, encrypt the stored data.
there would be an uh, encryption algorithm to it. Implement SSL for the network traffic. Yes, since we are talking about the mobile application, there would be a web server component to it also. So secure your applications against the common web application attacks. Again, sanitize your inputs, use prepared statements so that you prevent against cross-site scripting, SQL injection and other attacks. Mobile applications should be implementing proper authentication schemes. Do not authenticate users based on user ID, uh, UD, sorry, UD ID or, or any hardware device ID. Implement proper authentication schemes. And yes, last point is prefer encryption over encoding or obfuscation. So these are the OS mobile top 10 risks. These are mobile top 10 risks as per the OS. And yes, if, you, if as, as we can see, insecure data storage, insufficient transport layer protection, some of these, these points are present there. So insecure data storage is the first point they, they are considering. And then some of the references which I thought would be worth sharing. Of official documentation is quite good and, and OS mobile top 10 project is also very good to keep updated. <coughs> Thanks. My mail address is present. create a pcap file of your packets. So, so that way you create a TCP dump of it using shark and then you take out uh, and then you analyze it later on your machine. Okay, uh,